to lower the price of that transit van so we just get the last van from the farm gone. Oh, it's nice. That's dropped another 500 quid in about a week. Hi, hi. Oh, Crikey. What a bit of kit. Yep. Oh, well, Forecourt actually is in a right mess. Best car bought, best car sold, biggest headache and biggest win. I've tried to have a look at this, but I don't have time. But apparently, we owe Cy for that invoice that he sent to us. Yeah, nice. What's his actual business name? Auto Beans Limited. Auto Beans? Auto Beans. Yeah, nice. Working on Mass for a weekend. Um, what do you need me to do? Help. What do you need me to do? I'm not actually paid for it. Yeah. Well, go In the short term, we're just uh, probably bang a bit of valet in. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I just said to Mark to put the Freelander, well actually tell you what you could do is you could, it's just putting it in the yard now, but the Freelander could be loaded up and taken to the farm, mm -hmm. as could the Say It Ibiza. Yeah, I'll take the Ibiza first because I've only got the green trip. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Um, he's just blocking it in the other way around, but either way. Yeah, that's fine. Um, is that the white Ibiza or no, the black, black one. one? Did I don't know if it's on. Was that one part X? No, no, it's a very different one. This is the cheap £250. Uh -huh. Bang a leg. <laughs> That's fine, yep. Yeah, I'll go do that. Uh, do we just help Valentine first and then load it up when I've got to go do delivery or. Just load it up now. Um, no, just, just get it out of the way. Yep. We could do a space, couldn't we? So yeah, I'll do that. Just create space and it makes the rest of the day easier. Sounds good. What kind of Do you know what I forgot? 9.30 today, we've got telephone people coming in to try and sell me telephones. Oh, I really cannot be asked for a sales pitch. Did you want that one back, Jay? Um, do you want to let Macaulay have it? Because he's going to start taking them to come down the farm. Yeah, yeah, of course. Can't just do it, thank you, bro. What? Okay. A boost air leak. And it ain't the intercooler lines, which is unusual for these because uh, they eat intercooler lines. Coming out the back of the EGR somewhere. Where's that? 
South Wales, just over the bridge. Lovely. Oh, it's fine. I'll take lunch before I go. Yeah, she don't want it till two o'clock, so. Oh, that's fine. You've got plenty of time. Nice. Tell you what's in the car. Someone said about someone having seen you in the chippy. No. <laughs> I can't even remember what it was on. It might have been on Instagram. I think it's because someone said something about. Oh, it might have been on TikTok because I did the video with the uh, little 250 pound Ibiza. Yeah. And he said, I'll give it to Toby while his car's broken. And someone else said, I saw Toby in the chippy the other day. He looked absolutely starving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they were just trying to make some kind of subtle dig about yes, you being yeah, slim yeah. or they yeah. actually genuinely were like, oh, I recognise him. But I won't say anything. Yeah, I got the trailer off with a hacksaw and screwdriver. You know, you've got like the pin that pops out. Mm. That's like the hacksaw down there and file the pin off. So, nice. It's off. It's, off. So, it's the only way I can get it off. You can use it now. Yeah, yeah, it can be used now. And then Jeff came down on his old quad bike. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was he riding around? <laughs> you reversed it off and then driven it off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and now we're in Cleveland. Um, oh, I'll clean out the connections. The trailer's not been used in ages. Put the thing in, and it just like lights flicker because the connections are all corroded. So I'm assuming we've got contact cleaner and like a little brush. Like, if you go out there on the right hand side in their little cabinet thing, yeah, I'll pick it up. Now we'll pick up the Astra, yeah, I think. Is it from Cleveland? Yeah. Oh, maybe further than I thought then. So what? A screen, a screenshot. Could be wrong. Jason. Uh, no, Chippenham, you're correct, yeah. But after 12 pm, between 12 and 2, Voxel Astra State Auto with scuff on offside corner. It's in EML and limp mode. 2,719 pounds. 68 ish K miles. It's quite a number. 2719. I guess. Uh... I think it was two and a half, and we must have charged for collection. Not so. Well, we're giving them extra money for collection. All right. Oh yeah. Well, we give them yeah, I was about to say, like, yeah, we're going to pay you two and a half pounds. Maybe it was free. Jason told me it was two and a half, and he's obviously offered him more. Or maybe he's offered him exactly cap or something. All right. Let's get this thing cleaned up. On. Trailer ones, oh yeah.
Yeah, but it still doesn't want to work. Oh, 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 oh. Are they all on? Yeah. Oh, no, no. No, it's a poor connection, that's all it is. Oh dude, it's probably the best I'm going to get really. Better than it was though, because literally I couldn't get half of them to work before. Just for the... No, it is not bumps, it's corny. Mercedes, the white one. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. Trying to exchange for a Maserati Ghibli. Oh God. <laughs> oh. I couldn't believe it, I was like, oh, there is a good lead, yeah. Reading it through, fucking Maserati. Dull. Well, it depends. Which one it is? I think I don't know if this one's just because it's just poverty spec. It is a three liter V6. It's a ZF. So let's have a look. Well, it's not. So it's just like I don't know if it's just the trim level that's putting other people off. Because obviously, ours turns out it was a bit basic, I guess. And but that the Alpha now, which I can't believe. I might oh, do a video and just say that <clears throat> if you watch this video, tell us and I'll give you a grand off or something. Um, but. We need to, I'll, I'll do it in a second, we need to lower the price of that transit van so we just get the last van from the farm gone. Is that the last one, is it? Yeah. It's about to go off the plan as well, which isn't a problem, I pay for it, but it's just, that's how long we've had it, nearly three months. Um, what else? Surprised we haven't got anyone interested in the S1. I'd like to get rid of the 911 as well. I was thinking of all these lumpy stuff that aren't on a plan or anything, so it's just money yes. sat there yeah, doing nothing. Yeah. All right, do you want to go through now? Yeah. Can do. Maserati. Yes. Transit. Thanks for redirecting my uh, speeding fine from oh, the bungalow. Oh, do you want me to take that back? Yeah. No, no, that was, so, no, somebody dropped that in on Saturday. Oh, did they? Oh, oh. is it Saturday? Yeah. Oh. Somebody brought it in and said, I think I know what that is. Well, it's customer Saturday. I was like, come That's on, just cool, it? About that. yeah. I'll take funny. it back if it was. <laughs> <laughs> the transit's performing well. All right, we'll drop it a bit. So it's currently 89.50 plus VAT. Um, 8,500 plus VAT, it's a big drop. Yeah, do it, it's just. Shit, shit, shit. Nathan, yeah, try it. Sophie's obviously left this t shirt to like damp for uh, too long, and I just feel like I'm walking around wearing an old flannel, oh, you know, yeah. got that damp smell. <laughs> yeah. Jason speaking. My twenty pound head unit's given up. Oh, no. I thought I'd given given up, but is it automatic? Uh, is it one you bought from us? Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, right. In that case, it's not. We're not really. Well, we're not doing any retail work anymore, I'm afraid. Um, but I can. I was going to give you a name of a guy who could help, but I suspect he's going to be really busy. So probably the next company along is Automania. It will be the best thing to win. It's definitely. It's probably a, if it's in park. Um, try take, yeah, take it out of park and, and put it back in and it might do it, but usually there's a switch on them that fails. But yeah, not something we can help with, but Automania up the road should be able to. Yeah, 
very jolly little duck, proper puppy legs. <laughs> Just a little filleting knife. Thought if we're going to do a little garage tour video tomorrow, it needs to be nice and tidy and de weeded because I wouldn't want anyone to see it with a load of weeds around. I mean, they've seen it now, but not in the special video, do you know what I mean? <laughs> that one's properly savage, it got me through the glass. There's a new calendar system. I'm sure it's slowly going to move over to it. Possibly. If you've ever seen it, it's quite confusing. Mm. Is it better, or is it? Well, I don't know if it's better for like, it's not better for a day view, like the way we've got it now. Yeah, I suppose it's similar. But, yeah, we'll see. That's how it goes. As long as I can like get on my phone and I can check my jobs over there, it's fine. Alright. Hello Jason, is that um, CRV happening today? Are we gonna... Yeah, we got no fog lights, don't we? Alright, uh, <laughs> well, nothing but for tomorrow. Can we get them for tomorrow, or...? Because I'm not yeah, on Friday. So I'm, I'm off for a bit. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, mate. We're struggling a bit. Oh, that's fine. Um, I'll see how I can do. Do you want me to pop out and see Mark and get things ushered along? If Joe out got it for you, then... Yeah. Uh, Which can't take the benefit. I don't know if there's meant to be stuff that should go out, but mm. the Astra Estate. That's what I was hoping he would tell me, there's stuff he's got. Um, does that need to go for paint, or does that need a prep first? Mm, that's a good question, isn't it? I might just leave it as is. Um, because we're going to sell it from the farm. I can give it a real great, like, whoosh, and then... Do you want me to touch up that um, bit of metal with a bit of primer so it doesn't rust? Yeah, I'm assuming you find a similar ish similar -ish colour. Blue. Yeah. And I'll just do put that it then. over, and then we'll get some pictures, and it can yeah. go out to the farm. That's fine. Um, where is it? Scrap yard? It's, it's just parts. Um, it's very close to camera. It's over the camera, it's like. In your face. <laughs> yeah, right, I'll okay. into your soul. This is what you use to thin our paint. Yeah. Yeah, just checking. Yeah, but literally like a drop. Teeny, teeny drop. So now I'm gonna get away from that. I'd almost get a new Q-tip or something. Just <laughs> it's on your back now. I do apologise. <laughs> Oh, it's much better than that. It's got less glue here now. Mm. It's an hour, isn't it? No, it's alright. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. We have had to mix this up. It's not the right colour. It's close. I've got some panel wipe here, mate. That'll do. 
It's similar, it's not quite the same. But that's a lot of paint to touch up, isn't it? We're here for a long time. Sure. Put it on thick and spread it out, I guess. Yeah. Main thing is it's stopping it from rusting. Much, much later. Still think it's still, still think the wheels. You ready? You ready? Whoa! It's not very flat. I'm going to sort that out in a minute. The wheel to dry. But is it not the right colour? It's all right. Yeah, I'm going to get the DA sander like me, and then touch up again, and then polish it out. Oh, do the inside now. Now I've got to pick up the C Max later. I think I'm a bit. How, do you know how big a C Max is? Not that big. C Max. I've had one a little trailer before, I think. This is it. it wasn't even flat. Why my job has been cancelled for today? I will do my best to fix this. Okay. Oh, but you can never get it flat when you're using a brush. So once it's dry, I'll give it a quick 3,000 over and a quick buff. Okay, on the, to doing that on the computer rather than the... Exactly, so if you want to save that, that contact that you're on the front of, yeah. um, you just press the red man, this will pop up. Oh, we'll soon get used to all the problems with the way. It won't take long. I know, I know it's a pain in the ass, but that's, that's what's selling at the moment. That's what pays everyone's wages. Like you say, it's, you know, if you've got to spend a thousand pounds to make three, that sounds like good news to me. Do you want me waiting for pictures to upload? Oh, the new camera system, phone system even. Shall I peel off the mask? Now the application's complete. Nah, leave it. Hi, hi. Oh, got Screen text from that bad voice. Mm. That's a good idea, actually. Cue Jason dropping in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even say that. Top quality Android. YouTube, stuff. YouTube music's on here. Guys, Sound recorder. We can uh, have our. You can have the emails on here as well. I was going to put RuneScape on it. How do you get to the um the, the apps? Which I, cross. I do like considering every time we want to change something with Embreach, we have to phone and it would just ring and ring and ring and it's an email and wait for a whatever and whatever this they were like it's like yeah I'll watch this you call your helpline and you get a video call with them if that's what you want 4k video call and they answer within 10 seconds and you're like oh it's not it, I need to change my whatever and they do it for you and they'll change anything you want within the first year no charge as much as you want um, the um, paperwork's on the corner of the desk there see Joe already knows Oh, yeah, I was going to take lunch and then leave just for one. Um, the, the, yeah, BCA Bristol, normal stuff. Yeah, I've, um, lucky. if it's a single transport, you go into the thing no matter what now. If it's a single okay. or double, you just go in there. Yeah, well, it makes sense, doesn't it? That stupid little yeah. bit where they pulled around. Well, they've, like, they've changed like, all the management there and everything. So that's why it's all changed. Oh, the ash is all done. Like, I've polished up the, the scratches. Lovely. I think the emails might not work. I've logged in with emails and whatever, so they are they're swapping over our website today as well. Okay. So just to you know make life as stressful for everyone as possible. Yeah. We've got a new dealer management system, new phones, new website. Yeah. Uh, new finance providers. Okay. So what do we do for? Don't worry, I make my life stressful enough as it is. If I want to send an email. Uh, you still use the current one as it stands for the moment, but next to. You've got your own email anyway. Any old password? Click on it. No, no, no. Click on it. It should. Just sign in. No, no. no. I'll click, click on, on that. Sorry. Oh. Uh, okay. So it's. Beep. Now you're in. I think they've just kind of taken all the emails that were up to date, like this morning or yesterday, and transferred it over and said try signing in. I haven't had a chance. I've done it this morning, so they're now going to start swapping our website over. Yeah, Tuesday at three o'clock. Big lump. Is it done? It's done. It's still got a crash. Rewarding though, hey? Yes, we have breaks. <laughs> Wonderful.
I'd rather have a mouse on this time. I thought you yeah, somewhere else. Has he even got a zoom? Crikey! What a bit of kit! Power off. We'll test that out on that mini engine in a minute. That yeah. could that could have saved us. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah. And a lot of abuse on Facebook, yeah. uh, on YouTube even. Um, you wouldn't believe the amount of people were like, "What a mug! You should have seen that coming." Like I, I did. I kind of spelled that out in the video. <laughs> Entertainment. It was. There might yeah. there might have been a chance it would be okay, but I did say through the thing. Is there much chance this is okay, or have they just lost the key deliberately, or whatever? Yeah. And everyone's like, "You're a f***ing idiot! <laughs> God, you're thick!" <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, do you want a coffee? You're just happy with that one? Uh, no, no, I might make that too much. I am going to so there's a spare wheel in the Focus. Yeah, so you get that signed out copy, obviously. No, no, you can't copy away. Yeah, as long as you get a signed purchase invoice and a signed, and a signed handover document and, and a signed, signed PDI. Yeah. When there's a pie exchange three, no pie exchange two. Same sort of process before, but just different people. What's the difference in the paper between pie exchange and non pie exchange? Well, they don't have a purchase invoice if we're not buying their car. Okay. So this is them confirming that it's, it's I mean, it's a 200 pound book from 207, so it's not exactly going to be. Oh, the next buy. We're not going to be overly concerned about <laughs> whether it's free from damage. I'm not buying it. But yeah, you know, if you're buying, like, say that C3, yeah. they confirm that it's been. Everything they told us is true, they haven't nice. hidden anything. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But a 10 grand car, when they sign that, or it, it's yeah. probably going to be worth much, but That's maybe fine. it is one day. That's fine. Anyway, so, yeah. one each of those. Yeah. Hang on. No. Oh, you're me wrong one one mm. each of those. Yeah. I'll put that on the back because I One each one. of those. Yeah. There's two of those, though. Yeah, she has one and we have one. Oh, huh. so she has. Both of those two, not signed. Yeah, she can have them. Yeah, and then I bring those two back in the hand. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I just realised on the purchase invoice. <laughs> it's a bit me, it's like. That Salesman goes, signature. That goes to the customer, yeah? Yeah, so that's obviously customer copy. Yeah, I'll put that on the back. Let's have that on. Sweet. And then get her to sign those and make sure you get them back. I was there. I've got some documents in the green truck here. I'll bring them in when I remember. They are for the car drops off the other day. A little car, I've got what it was now. Amazing. We've had 16 grand from DSG. Ka ching. This could be Audi, eh? Yep, Audi RS4 paid about one. Let me know. Sweet, right over here. Keys, get it loaded and get it gone. Oh, I've lost it. Nice one. Uh, they were trying to get you to come have a look at this. Focus to if make you sure are, you're happy, but right. I think it's, yeah. yeah, as long as they're not really pedantic, it looks perfectly good. Yeah. You know, they're just they're pointing out like minor, like, well, oh, this could be polished out a bit more. It's like, no, fuck it. It's a 10 year old car. Yeah. Um, which is very shiny. Yeah. I'm going to crack on with cleaning the RS5 quickly so that um, and get Mark to help me so we can just get through that quickly. Then we can get pictures of it so it can go on raffle site. And then yeah. if you want to steal a bolt, it can be stolen yeah. and swapped over, and then you can get on with polishing your C Max or whatever it was you want to do. S Max, yeah, lovely. Uh, how how soon is that going out? Oh, it's not till the weekend. If it if it, even if it does. Oh, okay, so I might but it get can, on with the BMW then, so we can actually get. Yeah, that yeah. If you want, yeah, because that basically it's a few hours work. So I just wanted him to be aware that it needs doing before like three o'clock Friday. pressure sensor and also it melted all the um, washer hands in the back. So, uh, yeah, well, uh, no, that's, that's right, I'll, I'll do that. That's right. I mean, I'm, I'm, I just need to know if it's going to be ready or yeah, not. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Well, I, I'll, I'll, I'll dive into it in a sec. I'll put that as my first job because the next job for Adrian after he's done the um, uh, S Max is. Although Tuareg hasn't gone to paint yet, is to do the service yeah, tyres. Yeah, Might as well get the mechanical bits done, yeah. just in case we spot anything. So I'll, I'll order up the service kit for that now. Sounds good. Um,
Well, I'll get the A1 done. You'll need to show me the AC thing because I'm not aware of what it is. It's the high pressure switch. Yeah, it it's might be really obvious, but. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if they, 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 hopefully they've stuck it. I know I can do this bit. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> they've um, stuck the, uh, in an accessible position. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. The SATs used to, have to take the front off to do the high pressure switch, but on those are I've got a scan oh, on the RS5 I said the same thing, high pressure switch. Oh, you said. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sure I can get a rear window thing done, an AC thing done with a day. <laughs> but let's get at least ticked off with Jason and get that sorted, so that's fine. Um, hopefully, some bits turn up for my ML today. Desperate, yeah, just because he's on it, so obviously today was the, you know, the. Yeah, the he's so relaxed. Whichever you like, it's fine. Yes, Max is the only one I'm getting stressed on. No. I like to do a service on this today as well, but. Yeah, we're cool, we're cool. Yeah. Right, we're good. What's Mark got? Um, uh, well, you've always got the Vauxhall Astro there at the moment, but is that to be cleaned? Or is no, it just no, no. Oh, okay. I got the white beamers obviously prepped, and then once the s -Max is out of workshop, get the scratches and the head shooting out of it, yeah. and then once the A1's done as well, just yeah. scratch down the side of it, you say, as well? Uh, the bonnet. Bonnet. Oh. So, yeah. These guys are getting a lot of your bits of stuff that we've sent in and blah, blah, blah. Oh, they made a mistake, they need... Problem is, you lift it too much on the bottom. Yeah, so just, you just, bottom. Got, just got to go gently. Just lift it gently till it touches the rim. Not too much. Strap we can put around the middle. I'll have a coldie, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've managed to you mount the tire. I've managed to mount it into the other tire. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, we've got a twin axle, mate. Right? Right, it is the end of the week, Saturday. It's actually five minutes past two now, so we should be closed and gone home, but it's uh, playing catch up, being a bit manic. Um, the forecourt actually is in a right mess and there's gaps everywhere and I need to be buying stock next week. And I had to, I come in this morning really busy, had to do stuff. We're in at 10, two cars have gone out the door by half past 10. It was just one of those mornings. Um, I've tidied my office now so that I can just think straight and I need to do the same with the forecourt I think before we finish because we got our Range Rovers over there we could end up with four three sorry Range Rover sports in a row the Jeep was just sold this morning so that needs to be moved out of the way we've potentially sold the Range Rover Evoque which we only picked up yesterday and I think I might have a buyer on the other one actually and then our other white one also sold so it's just Range Rover madness going on but normally we have sold cars up in this corner so they're tucked out the way and then you know the stuff that's actually for sale is at the front of the forecourt where people can see it but 
because we've been so busy, it just hasn't happened. So I think I'm gonna have a little after hour shuffle around on my own this afternoon because I hate leaving it like this on a weekend and you know, going home and then coming back into it on Monday. Looks rubbish, doesn't it? People, quite a lot of people, you can tell from the cameras, people turn up and uh, walk around and actually check this place out on a weekend, unsurprisingly, I guess, but I can't live with it being this messy. It just looks rubbish. So I'm gonna sort that out and yeah, need to be buying more cars next week. So hopefully we'll have some interesting videos of some interesting stock. Um, let me know in the comments what sort of videos you want to see more because we need to sort of, I mean, we've got loads of videos. We've got like a list of videos we want to make, all sorts of things. Um, but it should be interesting. I mean, I don't know how much you guys enjoy watching me just like do a review on a car because as you know, I'm not that technical. I'm not that geeky about cars. I like cars. I like anything with an engine, motorbikes, boats, planes, whatever. I don't know, anything with an engine. I like it, but I don't know that much about them. So I want to do a video of like the M5, for example, because of course that's like an extraordinary car, but then I might do something on like this C3 or C4 Picasso or whatever it is. And I just don't think you probably really want to watch that. Or do you? I mean, I can't give you like Matt from High Peaks Auto style, you know, the history of when they first were made and you know, why they made, I just don't care to be quite honest with you. But I could get in it and tell you like, oh look, it's got a funky little two screen thing and the massaging seats are actually rubbish. Very disappointing. So I'm just waffling because I've got ADHD. So let me know if that is something you want to see, then I will do it more. But sometimes it can be disheartening when we put a bit of time and effort into doing those sorts of videos and about three of you watch them. So yeah, there's that. We need to do best car bought, best car sold, biggest headache and biggest win. So I want to say best car sold. I don't even know if it's out here in the sold section. For all I know, it could be at the MOT center or maybe it's in the scrapyard. No, I don't know where it is. It might be at the MOT center, but we bought in part exchange for a white Range Rover Sport, a 21 plate uh, Citroen C3, not a Picasso, just a C3 hatchback on 25,000 miles. It's just very modern and very, very car supermarket. So not really our normal sort of stuff. Um, so I wasn't that desperate to have it, but we actually sold it in like two days. So can't complain at all. That was a really nice, easy sell. So very happy with that one. So that is best car sold, best car bought, I don't know, we could just say a combination of these two Range Rover Evokes. There will be a video of these. It might be out by now. If not, it will be coming out. Um, yeah, there's stories behind these, but I'm happy with my purchases and I feel like both of these are probably sold or going at least going to be confirmed sold within five days at most. That's our best car bought, best car sold. Biggest headache this week. I don't know, really. I think it's just that we've been busy and we've been out of the office and it's just been manic. So yeah, kind of time management, I guess. And biggest win, I don't know. We had a nice little train journey, didn't we, the other day? Just getting out of the office is always good. Quite enjoyed my little train journey, actually. Quite relaxing, <laughs> you know. I don't want to do it all the time, but not having to concentrate on the road was nice. We saw lots of nice, train stations so it's very interesting to see that a lot of people obviously have a great community spirit around their train station and they've decorated them and they've put things up and signs and one of them had like a community push bike that you could borrow to go to the shops ours have crackheads so that's that's the difference there which is nice to see maybe maybe i should take the incentive and sort it out myself as if i haven't got enough to do but um yeah that was interesting so that's that's about the best news i got for you really fortunately my head is just buzzing with all different things going on which is good because that's how I like it so that is it I better let Toby go and I better get on with shuffling cars around and in fact I got a car for the farm as well that I need to take photos of um, some of you may have seen it on TikTok the one where someone hit a deer in the front of his three series I thought we might sell it here but you know what I'm just going to try and sell it trade from down the farm um, Toby will get some quick shots of that for you so you can see what I'm talking about but otherwise it's quite a nice car um, don't forget we are raffling off the Audi RS5 and you can win that for just five pounds or in fact only four pound fifty if you use the code toby10 and toby will get a nice little bonus as well for being such 
a wonderful videographer. If you've enjoyed the video, I hope you had. If you made it this far, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That'll really help me out and boost the algorithm and all that good stuff. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, because if you are one of my subscribers, when we hit 75,000, I'm giving away a very nice watch worth £2,000 from Tag Heuer, uh, completely free to just one of my subscribers. I don't know how we're going to figure that out just yet, but, you know, make sure you subscribe. You're in the chance. It's completely free to do, and it helps out the channel, and you might win a very nice watch. So that is it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you same time, same place next week. Have a great week.